Thank you, but you're welcome. The Maxwell House isn't decaffeinated. No people, you have to talk to me. The jar said decaffeinated. Oh, well, it's decaffeinated. Okay, you're no good. You've got to talk to me. You're all excited about the walk. We're thrilled about the walk. And we've come to the conclusion that decaffeinated coffee is psychological. Well, that's really got nothing to do with it. This is Ted. See? Hey. Walk there now. Tradition has it that there was a giant ferry there, and before he died, he threw an enormous stone into the sea, and it landed up by Crosshaven. And the stone is still in Crosshaven that he threw in. Wait. <laughs> so it's actually a giant test. Yeah, yeah. He was a big fella. He was, she was about six foot. <laughs> Anything old, over six feet is a giant. I don't know. It's only Is it a, a tradition around these parts to be followed? by some dork with a video <laughs> camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did they have those back in the time of the giants? <laughs> <laughs> this is the land of the giants. Oh, oh, they're 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 not they're they're not no, but there is. There used to be a stone. Right. Here we go. Oh, there's a big yeah. And that's the only, that's the way up, because that road goes straight across. Yeah. And it has yeah. to, it, it's actually up at the top of the woods. It's at the very, well, not the highest, the uh, high enough, you know? So, and it's, like that's the only way up that way, just goes across. They're eventually bringing you up, actually, that's just what. Yeah. Anyway, it's a new experience. Any questions, Mary Kate Alexis? What actually led you to believe that there's a path up that way? It's Ted, and then there it is. There's a path. I think those are just some trees that Ted felled on its way up. No, no, there it is. There's a path worn up there. I say have a It's an old tree. This tree has been here maybe before the time of the settlement of Australia. Of the giants, of the giants. This was probably belonging to a giant. A giant would fell this with one flick of the wrist. And use it as a toothpick. And use it, as my American colleague tells me, as a <laughs> This is Jane O'Sullivan from the woods above the chemical factory. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's my turn over. You're in this lovely field of, of blackberries and huckleberries, and beneath this lovely spread and oak tree, that's you'll a, notice... That's a giant's head. That's a giant's planted years and years ago. You'll notice a big maw on the landscape, and that would happen to be thought of one of the most um, Pollutant. polluting <laughs> chemical plants in all of Cork. I'm afraid I've gone and forgotten the name of it. Smith Klein and Beecham. Smith Klein and Beecham, yes. So famous for Beecham's say? powders. Famous for Beecham's powders and for the powders of nuclear fallout that, that we find here on this lovely pile. <laughs> Bluebells now, well known in them. Irish woodlands and English ones, and they only grow in deciduous forests or woods because the light can get in, and because of the rainfall and the dust, they come up very well, and they come up year after year, and they need the sunlight to grow because they grow from bulbs. And how do they react to the chemical plants over yonder? Well, they, I must say now, they've actually lessened in recent years. 
and because of the climate changes, they're becoming an endangered flower because of the because of the because. Okay, I'm not going to talk anymore. I think she wants to shut me up. And what does this band here signify? This is the ancient burial ground now of that giant we were talking about earlier. But unfortunately, as we're doing all over this country, it's been destroyed. It used to be a, a circle of sending stones and they've been knocked. And the chemical company we saw down further knocked two, two fairy rings which were sending stones in order to build their company. So we're destroying our countryside and our landscape of thousands of years for short-term investment. And can the Irish government do nothing to prevent them? The Irish government are encouraging them and inviting them in and saying, we'll knock our sending stones, we'll knock our heritage of thousands. Rambuna, upbeat, the positive side. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's no upside.